Hi everyone, welcome back to Beast and Fields Early Years Home Learning. Today we are going to be learning more phonics and it is really important to learn phonics because it helps us with our reading and our writing. So if you have your phoneme mats out at home, you can have a look at these, you can pause the video, go through them with a sibling or an adult, you can start at the beginning, in the middle or the end, or challenge yourself, find the ones that you really don't know and go, right, I am going to know these today and have a look at the picture and ask an adult for help. Be a resilient rhino and keep going. You can also join in with Miss Johnson. Make sure you look at the grapheme when you are saying the sounds and please say the sounds out at home too. Join in with me. Let's get started today. Or. Ow. Y. Mm. Mm. Oh. Mm. Ah, okay. So our phoneme of the day today is or, and it's or in torch. So the action for this is like you're holding a torch, a bright light torch, which comes on in the dark to flash and find things in the dark. So that's a torch right there. So it's or in torch. So my phoneme is or, my name is, so the letter names are O, R. And as you can see, there's two letters, and there's two letters that make one sound, or. We do not say or, or we say or. And to help us remember that, we put the sound button dash underneath to know that it's one sound, okay? So when you're writing it um, or reading some words, you can put a dash underneath to help you read them. You don't always have to do it in your writing. If you're struggling with it, then we use our sound buttons. Some of the words which contain our grapheme of the day are torch, or, four, but this is not the number four, it's like this is for my mum, for get, okay? So what we're going to do now is have a go at writing the grapheme. And remember, grapheme means what it looks like and phony means what it sounds like. So you can have a go in the air with Miss Johnson, you can have a go in your home learning packs at home or scrap piece of paper, whatever you feel like doing today. But remember to try and hold your pencil properly, okay? I might practice with the real one today. There we go. So I'm going to go and do my O first, around, up, and then my R, down, up, and flick. And if you would like to put the dash at the end, you're more than welcome to, at, on, at the end, underneath, sorry, you're more than welcome to, to help us remember that it is a digraph. Let's try one more time with our O, around, up to the top, well done, and R, 
down, up and flick. Great job. And then our dash underneath our die graph or in torch. So what Miss Johnson has got in store today is she has got a friend to help her do some of the words containing or. His name is Good. You might have seen him on Maths Magic and he's now come over onto the phonics part of the videos to help us with our segmenting and blending with using our phoneme of the day or. I hope you enjoy. Hi everyone. So I've taken over Miss Johnson today and I'm going to help you make some words using your grapheme of the day or or in torch. So I'm going to put up some flashcards now and we're going to have a go at segmenting and blending. Can you help me? Yes? Oh great. Let me go get some cards then. So, let's have a go at reading this word, starting with the first sound, t, or, ch, torch, great job, let's do it one more time, t, or, ch, torch, great job everyone, let's have a go with this word. Get your robot arms ready to segment and blend. Let's start with the first sound. P or ch. Porch, great job. Now we're going to do it a little bit faster. P or ch. Porch, great job everyone. I'm going to get some more sounds. Right, let's have a look at our next word. Hmm, still looking at the graphene or. Let's segment and blend this word. Or, four. Hmm, great job. But this is not the number four. It's when you go for something. I went to the shop for some sweets. You go for it. Or this is for Miss Johnson. Not the number four. Let's try one more time to read this word. Get your robot arms ready. Or four. Great job, everyone. Hmm, we have a new word. Let's have a look at the new sounds or still in the middle of the word, which we normally find the grapheme of the day or in the middle of words, right here. Let's segment and blend this new word. S or t sort, like when you have to sort out your bedroom for your mummies and daddies, to make sure it's nice and tidy. Let's do it a little bit faster. S or t. Sort. Well done, everyone. Hmm, this looks like a longer word. But we're resilient rhinos. We can do it. Get your robe arms ready. And we'll start with the first sound. Are you ready? Let's go. Or, g, e, t. Forget. Hmm. Like maybe when you forget to bring your water bottle to school. You forget something. Makes you feel sad sometimes. Let's try it a little bit faster. F, or, g, e, t. Forget. Well done, everyone. I hope you enjoyed learning from Gert today instead of Miss Johnson. 
What we're going to have a go at now is reading a question. Remember, this is a sentence type. We know it's a question because it's asking us something and it ends with a question mark. So it should be popping up along the bottom. We need our robot arms to segment and blend words that we do not know. If you know the word off by heart, that is fine. You can pause the video and have a go by yourself independently and then have a go with Miss Johnson afterwards if you are struggling. If you are finding it really hard, you can do it with Miss Johnson. Remember, do not just look at me. Look at the words to segment and blend. I do not have the word on my face. It is down at the bottom. So please make sure you are looking at the word. So warm up your robot arms. Freeze. Let's have a look. It looks like a tricky word, but the tricky word is with another letter. So it doesn't make I, it makes a I. Well done. I, s, is... The next word is a or a uh, is a. Uh. Let's have a go at segmenting and blending this word using our grapheme of the day. Three, two, one. T or ch. Torch. Back to the beginning is a torch. Last word here. And it's using our grapheme of the day from yesterday. So have a thing. Look at that. Then get your robot arms ready. Three, two, one. D -arc. Dark is a torch dark and it's got a question mark at the end because it's asking us a question either yes to answer or no to answer. Is a torch dark? We use it in the dark but it is not dark, it is very bright, that's the reason why we use it because it has a bright light so it's not dark, no, we use it in the dark, some people might have got a little bit confused with that. So it's the answer is no. What Miss Johnson would like you to have a go at is writing a sentence using our tricky word of the week, he, and the letters are H-E. Okay, to make our tricky word. Remember, we do not segment and blend them. We just have to remember that it makes um, the word he. So you could write, he went for sweets. He had a cake for his mom. Or you can come up with your own sentence. Remember, use our grapheme of the day or in torch too. And try and use our tricky, of the, uh, tricky word of the week as well. If you find that really tricky, just have a go at writing some of the words that Gert has gone through today with you, like sort, forget, um, for, um, and torch. Okay, remember to put your sound buttons on the words if you are doing that. If you are writing sentences, also remember your finger spaces between words and your full stop at the end, capital letter, to also start your sentences. Remember all the phonics work that you do at home. Make sure you get an adult to take a picture and pop it on tapestry so the Bees and Fields staff can like and comment on the amazing stuff that you are doing at home. I hope you enjoyed um, the phonics video today and Miss Johnson will be seeing you very soon. Bye!